Med schools want students that stand out. We, as prospective medical students, we know this, we've heard, we've been told. So as ECU students, what resources do we have at our disposal to become more competitive? There's a lot ECU has to offer that I wish I'd known about last year as a freshman. So for you lucky viewers, I've crafted a list. Here are the top five ways ECU will get you into med school. topics covered in this video are clubs and leadership, volunteering and shadowing, research, study abroad, and the MCAT. Don't get me wrong, grades are extremely important, but most everyone already knows that, so I'm going to focus on resources that will help you outside of the classroom. If you want more information on any of the resources I mentioned, links will be provided in the description down below. Topic 1, Club Involvement and Leadership. The Association of American Medical Colleges, or AMC as I lovingly call it, emphasizes social skills, dependability, and teamwork, and these can all be displayed by joining clubs. Well, no, not, not that club. These clubs. This is a great way to show off interesting aspects of yourself, and you can become active early in your college career. A great starting point at ECU for finding clubs is through OrgSync. ECU's online database for all student organizations. Just log in, click Organizations, find what you like, and attend interest meetings early in the year. Some medicine-related organizations to look into include the American Medical Student Association, or AMSA, which provides countless opportunities to learn about and prepare for med school, and Timmy Global Health, which emphasizes world access to healthcare and hosts a service abroad trip. However, don't be afraid to explore separate interests like badminton or soap carving. Pursuing unique interests can set you apart from other applicants. Once you find a group that you are passionate about, display that passion by being active in the club and express your interest in leadership to the current leaders. You won't always get the position, but a little initiative goes a long way. <music> Topic 2. Volunteering and Shadowing As doctors, we will serve others on a daily basis, so medical schools look for early evidence of a desire to serve in a medical setting. So, volunteer and shadow. For volunteering, once again, OrgSync is a great starting point. Under the Service Opportunities tab lies a list of volunteer events for you to choose from. Use the Search by Event or Partner box to narrow them down by your interests. Another great resource is the Vident Medical Center, which ECU has direct ties to through the Brody School of Medicine. You can apply to volunteer at Vident, as well as the other uh, small practices in its vicinity. Volunteer work in non-medical settings can also be beneficial. For example, uh, interested in geriatrics? Learn more about the elderly and elder care services through volunteering with the Pitt County Council on Aging. Interested in pediatrics and want more experience with kids? Volunteer at the Greenville Boys and Girls Club. Moving on. Unlike volunteering, shadowing provides first-hand exposure to the day-to-day -day work of physicians. It's kind of like stalking, except they're cool with it. The easiest way to shadow is to reach out to doctors around Greenville and put in a request. I would also recommend applying to the Primary Care Physician Shadowing Program which allows participants to shadow five different primary care physicians over the course of five weeks. This program provides exposure to a variety of practices and would make any med school applicant appear well-rounded. This is an amazing program and one that I myself am applying to in the upcoming semester. <music> Topic 3. Research. While shadowing gives you the chance to experience, research gives you the chance to create. Participating in research shows critical thinking and creativity and will give you the chance to apply concepts learned from class. Research can also confirm whether or not you are passionate about what you think you are. Either way, med schools love seeing research on a resume, and for some schools, it's a requirement. If you're like me, you want to find research that is a perfect fit for you, but understand what I didn't. This is not a passive process. You have to actively search for opportunities, and one of ECU's best resources for finding these is its faculty. Most are involved with some form of research. Just find their personal web pages to learn more. Starting at ECU's homepage, click Academics, Colleges and Schools, choose your department of interest, whether it be here or at Brody, and click through the personal pages of the faculty member. After reading through their research pages, choose the three you are most interested in and reach out to see if they have research openings. Other ways of finding research include attending ECU research fairs and showcases and talking to professors from the classes you take. If you want to stay up to date on research opportunities, subscribe to monthly newsletters to see what's fresh. Topic 4. Study Abroad. 
Cultural competence is a core quality stressed by the AMC, which I mentioned earlier, and studying abroad is a great way to demonstrate this quality. Travel abroad also helps display a development of empathy and the ability to defy your comfort zone to explore the world. Med schools love worldly applicants, but let's face it, studying abroad is expensive as shipping and handling. Or at least, it can be if you don't take advantage of what ECU has to offer. Your starting point here is the Pirates Abroad webpage, which gives information about upcoming semester abroad trips, summers abroad, alternative break experiences, and the prices associated with these trips. If you prefer face-to-face -face assistance, go to ECU's International House, home of the Office of International Affairs, and attend information sessions. There you can see if you qualify for financial aid or if there are any available scholarships. Sometimes, though, studying abroad through private organizations is simply the cheaper option. If you find a privately organized trip that you like, find a professor to endorse your trip and give you course credit so that you can count it as a study abroad trip. In this way, you would be able to craft a study abroad experience that is completely your own. Topic 5. The MCAT. The test virtually all pre-med students are required to take to get into med school. Okay, so I know the MCAT and your class grades are closely related, but the MCAT is no normal test. The MCAT is an 8-hour behemoth that dwarfs every other standardized exam you've ever encountered. A test of this magnitude requires dedicated preparation, and ECU can offer assistance. The ECU chapter of AMSA endorses Kaplan, an online MCAT study program that has both paid and free elements. For pay, Kaplan offers online or local in-person tutoring sessions and sells textbooks that cover MCAT material. Kaplan's free resources include practice tests, 20-minute practice quizzes, in-depth descriptions of MCAT sections, free consultation about your application process, and 90-minute boot camp session. Aside from Kaplan, there are MCAT resources offered around campus. For one, ECU's Joiner Library offers MCAT study booklets to those in need. And the Pirate Academic Success Center, which is in general a great place to go for study help, offers free MCAT flashcards. Super easy to run by and grab. If you're interested in group study, AMSA holds game show style review sessions of MCAT material throughout the semester. This is a perfect way to review material in a lighthearted manner, learn which areas you need to improve in, while also exposing you to many potential MCAT study partners. So there you have it. Knowing about ECU's resources in these five areas will put you leagues ahead of where I was as a freshman and jumpstart your journey to applying to med school. Just remember, there is no set formula for getting you into med school. Your best bet is to self-reflect and determine what your own interests and values are. You're going to put in a ton of effort to get into med school no matter what, so invest your energy in doing things that you care about. Choose quality over quantity and use the motivation of applying to med school to achieve great things along the way. Hello from the credits. This video is an overview of important resources offered at ECU for prospective medical school applicants. If you know of another beneficial resource offered at ECU, or have an idea for one that doesn't exist yet, please share in the comments below. Thanks!